I'm going to cover the uh, calculation of the weighted average cost of capital in uh, the next two videos. So this one I'm going to do a basic simple calculation then then we'll add taxes and other components. So the first thing before we get to that is is uh, the formula for the value of a company. So V is equal to D plus E. V is the enterprise value of the company, D is the debt, and E is the equity. Uh, by value of the company, essentially if you were going to buy the company what would you have to pay? Now, the important concept uh, in this formula is that both debt and equity are going to be market value. So not the book value, but uh, what it's currently worth right now. Um, so let's use Walmart as an example. And I looked at the, the 2019 values for Walmart, and they had uh, $40 billion in debt. And th that's the market value of their current debt outstanding. And the value of their equity right now is um, $370 billion. And this is referred to as the market cap or the market capitalization. That's just a fancy way of saying what is the total value of all the shares that are traded, which is the value of the equity. And you can get that. It's a publicly available figure. Uh, you can get that uh, by multiplying the number of shares outstanding times the current price. And that obviously is going to change every minute of the day because the price changes. But it'll give you a good ballpark. So what's the value of Walmart? It's not the value of the equity. It's the sum of the two, D plus E. So it's going to be $410 billion. Uh, a common mistake people make is uh, uh, subtracting it, saying that it's going to be $330 billion. So the equity minus the debt. And that's not true. It's going to be the equity plus the debt. And so if you wanted to buy Walmart and you were going to write a check, the amount of the check would have to be $410 billion because you're going to buy all the equity and you're going to pay off all the debt. Uh, the conceptual way to understand this is if you look at what the price of a house is. If you're going to buy a house that's worth $500,000, and let's suppose you only have $100,000 of down payment available, so you're going to have to take a mortgage of four hundred, dollars which is a bank loan. So you put down $100,000, take a $400,000 mortgage, and you got yourself a $500,000 house. Now, if I was to break each of these components down, the mortgage is equal to the debt. The down payment is your equity in the house. And the, the value of the house is the 500, which was, uh, which we were told at the beginning. So the value is equal to debt plus equity. And it's not going to, uh, change regardless of how much your mortgage is. So what's the formula for the weighted average cost of capital? It's, uh, D over V times RD, uh, plus E over V times RE. Now, the two R's are just the cost of each of the types of capital. So RD is the cost of debt. And so if you took a bank loan at 4%, that is uh, the cost of your debt, 4%. RE is the cost of equity, which is what shareholder returns are expected. So if your shareholders want 7 or 8% as a return, that's your cost of equity. And D over V essentially just tells you what percentage of your company is being financed by debt. And E over V, similarly, will tell you what per percentage of your company is being financed by equity. So you're just taking a weighted uh, ratio of the two, which is why it's called a weighted average cost of capital.